click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is how we can do the oxidation of aldehyde and ketone as well as how we can do the reduction of aldehyde and ketone. And now in this topic basically we are going to talk about the halophorm reaction. So what is halophorm reaction and how it can be done? Let me talk about in this topic. So in this topic, we are going to talk about the halophorm reaction. So what is halophorm reaction and how it can be done? Let me talk about that here. So for that, we have to consider an ketone or we have to consider an aldehyde which consists of that is CH3 or a methyl group that is been attached to C double bond. But let me give it a very clear general reaction. Suppose if we are talking about a ketone. Suppose if we have that is R C double bond O CH3. Suppose if this is a ketone that we are talking about. So obviously we understand that is this ketone because of this CH3 that has been present over here or because of the methyl group that has been present over here, this CH3 will be converted into a halophone. So now let me introduce the other reagents also and the other reagents are basically three moles of NaOx that is what we will introduce and this is basically known as sodium hypohalite. So this sodium hypohalite has been produced because of if we take that is NaOH along with that of that is X2 and suppose if we hit it. So whenever NaOH will react with the halogen that is Cl2, Br2 or I2 it will form that is NaOX and that is basically known as sodium hypohalite. So we will use 3 moles of NaOX and that is how basically the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is we could get the following product and that is RC double bond O ONA. This is nothing but the sodium salt of the carboxylic acid but the rest of the thing we could obtain is this CH3 that could be converted into CHX3 because here basically three moles of X are been there so therefore CX3 it will be produced while the rest of the that is two moles of sodium because one mole of sodium is been attached over here so therefore the two moles of sodium that will be removed in the form of that is two moles of NaOH. So in this reaction we have got the sodium salt of carboxylic acid but yes we have also got a halophone so that's the reason the reaction is known as halophone reaction so i could elaborate this reaction very easily suppose if we will consider the example so for that let me give you an example here suppose we consider acetone that will undergo halophone reaction so that is ch3 c double bond o ch3 the main criteria for this reaction is we should have that is CH3 that should be attached to C double bond O or that kind of a ketone or that kind of an aldehyde that should be basically that should have CH3 that should be attached with C double bond O. And for that we are reacting it with that is NaOH and suppose if we are considering that is I2. So whenever NaOH is being treated with I2 and that also while providing too much of heat to it, obviously it will produce sodium hypohalite. So that sodium hypohalite is what we could obtain as three moles of sodium hypohalite and this is the thing that we will get over here that is NaOI and that is also basically three moles. So I am just differentiating it this one so that I could make you understand that is how the reaction proceeds and how we see the product is being formed. So now this is three moles of NaOI is what we have got over here. And we do understand that is this CH3 it will be removed and this NaO this will replace this CH3 or this will re replace the methyl group. So now the whole ketone this is what I have considered as ketone. So this ketone it will be converted into CH3 C double bond O and instead of CH3 I will write it over here as ONA because the ONA has been replaced the CH3. So this is what we have got. Well, the rest of the thing that is now this CH3 out of which we say CH it will take away that is the three iodine atoms of this one. So therefore this will convert into CHI3 and talking about the next one that what we have is we have that is NaO again NaO but here this CH3 has been converted into CHI3. So the remaining two hydrogen of this methyl group it will be occupied with this NaO. So that is how we can form that is two moles of NaOH. So this is how we have prepared a iodoform. So this is what the reaction of a ketone with the 
that is sodium hypohalite is so now let me make it clear with the example of uh, the acetaldehyde so among aldehyde only the acetaldehyde will be able to give a haloform a positive haloform reaction suppose in this case that is ch3 c double bond o h this is an aldehyde that i have considered and suppose obviously i am writing the general reaction in this way that is if i have used that is naoi that is three moles of sodium hypohalite or sodium hypoiodide in this way and this is what i could get it from that is whenever i will treat naoh with i2 and with providing heat so it is very simple to understand that is this nao it will replace this ch3 so therefore the product that we could get is that is h c double bond o h c double bond o and here it will be o n a while this ch3 will be converted into ch i3 that is iodoform and the rest of the thing that is NaO it will take away one of the H from here and again the NaO it will take one of the H from the methyl group the hydrogen so therefore it will be converted into that is two moles of NaOH so this is how we have got that is iodoform here also so what is the significance of haloform reaction suppose if we have a ketone or suppose if we have a ketone which consists of a methyl group so while doing this reaction or while making the reaction to proceed in this way we could get a iodoform or that iodoform is basically a yellow ppd or it will be of yellow color so if that positive test comes then we could easily understand that is the compound or the keto that we are testing that consists of a methyl group also that has been attached to c double bond so that is how we can easily distinguish between other ketones and a specific ketone which consists of a methyl group that is attached to c double bond so this is how the positive test it could give us and this is how we can differentiate a ketone with the other one so similarly we can also differentiate the aldehydes also if that aldehyde consists of the acetaldehyde so this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friend for watching this video i hope you have understood the hello form reaction and i hope i'll see you next time so till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much